Hi guys, so I'm on here today. I wanted to share with you um, a kit that SVG Cuts is offering for free. And it's, um, they do this uh, every year around December or they just, I think it started last year. I'm not too sure if it was the year before that, but I know they offered it last year. But it's just a free kit that they offer during the month of December um, for a short period of time, just thanking all their customers um, for supporting them. Uh, throughout the year. So this year the kit is called Happy Holidays SVG Kit and it's um, you can see it before you. It offers five different SVG files and it's totally free. You cannot beat that. So I'm going to show you the different files that you get in the kit. And so like if you're on the fence about anything um, cutting SVG files or uh, the company itself this would be a great kit to start with and um, use for the holiday season just to try it out. Um, the kits are pretty cheap though. They only cost $6.99 and usually get at least five files and they're very very easy to cut. Each kit comes with a PDF file that's very detailed and shows you um, instructions on how to cut everything, you know, what the pieces are supposed to look like. Like here's an example of the PDF file. Let me see if I can scroll up so you can get to the top. So here's what the PDF file looks like um, and it's like I said you get color detailed instructions on how to do everything. They take you step by step and they also offer an instructional video for each kit where Mary takes you through her putting together all the more tricky and 3D um, things that you can cut out. So anyway um, this is my favorite SVG company out, which is SVG Cuts, all time favorite company. I just love their presentation and what they offer and the commitment that they have to the customers um, for their products. So anyway, um, let me show you what you get in the kit. You get these adorable Santa pants, which is huge when you put it together. It's really big. Um, the PDF file gives you all the dimensions, all the sizes, and everything um, when you get the kit. And she gives a, a brief description telling you about it here as well. She also tells you what paper she used um, if you want to know that as well too. You get this adorable Santa bag. You get this medium sized bag. You get this larger size bag here and you get this adorable gingerbread house which is really cute and like I said you get it for free and you cannot beat that so if you guys have a cameo and you have the designer edition for the cameo you can cut this out um, I'm gonna show you what I made from the kit which is the medium sized bag here and instead of doing it for Christmas I needed a quick bag for a friend of mine's daughter. She's turning six and she's having a princess themed um, birthday party. So I decided to make this for her and to hold the little goodies that my daughter picked out for her. Um, here's the bag and the bag measures seven inches tall by five and three quarters inches wide and three and a quarter um, inches deep. For those of you who want to know, that's why I said it's not so so many, you know, so many. It's a pretty good size bag. Um, on the front, I use die cuts with the view paper. I don't have the paper in front of me or any of the dies and stuff that I used. So if you guys would like to know exactly um, what an item is, just leave it in the comments below, and I'll pull it out and let you know. But I, know, I do know this is die cuts with a view paper. It's an older paper stack that came out a few years ago that I love. I love to use this when it comes to little girl projects. Um, I got this little cute um, butterfly embellishment, some um, bling here, some mesh bling, and some rhinestones here. I used a jaded blossom die and a Martha Stewart, um, the Martha Stewart butterfly punches here to cut those out. It says Happy Birthday Princess. That's a Jaded Blossom stamp set as well as this little cute little princess girl here is also from the same stamp set. It's uh, glitzed up as you can see and I have a little rhinestone here and then like I said this die, it's a two-part die, is from Jaded Blossom. 
I have some little curling ribbon here. I love this stuff. This stuff is so fun to add to your project. Um, I use this, um, gosh, what do you call this? It's like a mesh type of tool that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's in the silver color. It's really cool, funky. I like this. I like the texture of it. And then at the top to hold it together because it was kind of heavy and it kept, you know, opening up. I wanted it to stand up. I just tied this little bow and I just added a little crown to the center of it um, from another jaded um, blossom stamp set. This is the back. Same design on the back. You can kind of see it's finished all the way around. As well as on the inside on the bottom it's also finished with a liner and it's really sturdy. So I just wanted to show you one of the things that you can create from the new kit. And like I said, it's totally free. You cannot beat that. So thanks guys for watching and stay tuned for another video. All right, guys. Bye.